time, I'm joined by Memphis 901 FC defender Mark Segbers. I want to start off by thanking Chick-fil-A Mid-South for providing us with a meal. I hope that you are a Nugget fan, so... Yeah. Big fan of the Nuggets. I got it. I, I did a good job. You did a good job. All right, first and foremost, congratulations on being named to USL Championship Team of the Week, and also you were nominated for Save of the Week. Very excited about that. So I want to flash back to our home opener where you were in goal for the first time ever. Yeah, yeah, pretty crazy. Um, soccer's a crazy sport, and I think that was just one of those moments that I definitely won't forget, and I'm just happy I was able to help the team get three points, and it was uh, definitely one for the books. You've never had any experience in goal whatsoever. I mean, maybe a little bit when like playing with some friends in the backyard, but when a game that's matters with referees, I've never been in goal, no. Well, it was my first ever soccer game I attended in my life, so it was very exciting to witness, I must say. First ever soccer game. First ever soccer game. Well, I'm glad we got a win for you then. <laughs> so you are one of the few veterans returning to Memphis 901 FC. So how have you taken on that leadership role, kind of taking the newer guys under your wing? Um, I think I'm just trying to implement the overall tactics and vibe of the group that Ben comes from the top all the way down. I think, you know, we want to defend Memphis. We want to have a good attitude. The two things that we can control are attitude and effort. That's kind of a saying that goes along. So I just try to play my role in that and help the other guys get caught up to speed as much as possible and they're doing a great job. Now, your upcoming match this Saturday, you're playing your former team, Sporting Kansas City 2. Is this the first time you're ever playing a former team of yours? You know what, now that you say it, that is that is correct. This is the first time I play against a former team. So that'll definitely be exciting to see some old faces, the coaching staff and all that kind of stuff. So uh, definitely looking forward to that. We know Mark Seigler is on the field, but I want to get to know you off the pitch. So. You are from St. Louis. Mm -hmm. You share a stadium with the St. Louis Cardinals AAA baseball team, and you're wearing a Cardinals jersey for this interview, so I'm assuming you're a Cardinals fan? Safe to say, yes, I am a Cardinals fan. You've played soccer your entire life, so obviously you've had the opportunity to travel to a bunch of places. If you had to pick one spot, where is your favorite place you have been? I guess we can say in the country and out of the country, so it's easier. In the country, I would say Portland, Oregon. I think that their fan base along with, I like that kind of weather with the cloudiness and it's a little drizzle, it's better for like soccer weather. I think the mix of those two makes make it a very fun and exciting place to play. Out of the country? Out of the country, I've only been to two places to play soccer is the, the Netherlands and Germany. And I would definitely say that uh, I enjoyed Germany a little bit more than the Netherlands. I've never been to Germany, so is this a place that I should put on my travel list? You should definitely list? put it on your, put it high up on your travel list. Okay. What is your favorite thing to do in your free time? I think my favorite thing in my free time, probably if I'm not catching up with friends from back home or family members, would just to be able to kind of hang out, see some, get out into nature a little bit, go on a hike and listen to some good music. I think it's how I unwind after a long day of practice and it kind of puts me just in that good mood and thankful mood that I try to keep in. So I would say probably out on a trail or watching a sunset or something like that. Okay, if there was one thing that would surprise us about you that people would be like... I played the piano for seven years growing up. Um, it's something that I try to get back into from every now and then. And uh, like I said, music's a big thing. I love music in any way, shape, or form. So I think not a lot of people know that I play the piano besides family members. Okay, I played piano for five years and I never moved past level one, so... Hmm. Maybe you can teach me a thing or two. I'll try my best, but no promises. <laughs> you are around your teammates almost every day. So from your point of view, who's the one guy on the team that has the best sense of humor? Um, you wouldn't know it by looking at him, but I think Kyle Murphy is the funniest guy in the locker room by far. And I think I would get a lot of votes on my side if this was, had been to be a competition. How about the guy who takes the longest to get ready in the locker room? Dre Fortune. That, I mean, it's hard to get him out of the shower, let alone get him dressed, but uh, he definitely takes the longest. Who's the one guy that catches the most heat from you guys? Francis. Poor Francis. He doesn't even deserve it, but once he walks in the locker room, someone's saying something. The guy just keeps a smile on his face and keeps it moving, but uh, he takes the most heat, and I think he handles it the best also, so kudos to him for having to do that day in and day out. Who would you say is the biggest team leader that kind of gets you guys together, gets you hype when you're in need of it. I would say JB. 
uh, John Byrne was definitely that guy that made sure day in and day out we had the right focus, the energy was there, the vibes were up. Uh, so we're missing him a little bit right now and we're all trying to kind of step up and uh, make that up for him because we know that every day he brought it for us. So we're trying to do the same. Mark, it was great getting to know you. Are there any last words you want to say to the fans? Get out. Last home game for a little bit. So we want to make sure we get three points and make sure you guys are out there loud and proud.